systems. This last splash we had four sound systems and they come along, they string up and they play and entertain people. sort of takes me back in the sense that uh, I come from a, a family of sound system players and, and builders uh, and so I tend to look at it with a slightly more technical eye than most uh, I think that are gathered around them. Bridge and Splash is important to the community because it fosters a good sense of community pride and brings everyone together um, with a shared common goal. Ross had an idea that she really wanted the, um, the, the, the Bricks and Splash to be policed by locals, with the police. You know, we needed to have a different concept in, in terms of how we were going to look after the people that came. And what was really significant was how we had trained people from the community to get involved in the event, to help police the event, so that on the day, members of the community could actually deal with issues firsthand, rather than a police officer having to go in. This was the first of its kind, I would say, especially in London. Yeah, McDonald's gave them, like, teaching them how to behave um, as ambassadors. We did the training of hospitality yeah. to teach them how to shake hands, to teach them how to engage in eye contact, just really so they can be on the street, friendly and approachable. Uh, McDonald's were brilliant, they'd done all the t-shirts, so when you see them you knew that this person was working with the Splash. The safety record of Brixton Splash is um, incredible, I would say. In 2006 we had no arrest, 2007 miraculously we had no arrest as well. This was key to the police and the community working together in our locality to show that we can put history aside and we can address initiatives together, work together to make a safe policing event for everyone in Brixton. I'm still pinching myself that it, we did it and it, it came out so well and there was no trouble. Commander Sharon Rowe, um, she'd come out and she was going to come and spend it all day. But she wanted to like meet some of the public, and it was brilliant because I walked with her through the area, introducing her to a few people, and people were actually coming up and kissing this policewoman. It was like amazing. There's nothing like this ever happened in the history of Brixton. It's one of the most rewarding, enjoyable community events that I've been to in my whole police career. Brixton Splash VIP. VIP means volunteers in practice. It was a day we set aside to thank our volunteers for making the Brixton Splash event this year a total success. A lot of the work that we're doing is about leaving a legacy and the legacy has to be that policing with consent works within our community and there's no other way to police it, it's with consent. I handed out certificates recognising uh, and rewarding the efforts of our community members that were involved in the Brixton Splash event. This is my award and this is what I gained from Bricks and Splash and it was a great experience. Amazing, you know, to be on that level with your local police. I'm really looking forward to the future to even get involved even more. Everyone was intermixing, integrating and it was a very, very nice, enjoyable day. And there are some really good success stories that came from that. From the Brixton Splash I've done a lot of stewarding work to continue on what I've started, um, which has also made me apply to do the door supervisor course. She went ahead and done her stewarding and ended up getting her SIA badge, which is one of the dreams we had for all the stewards, because we know that the Olympics is coming up and we want to have a representative of stewards at the, the Olympics. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you. Very much. <laughs> the benefits that Brixton Splash has had on Brixton is that it's promoted Brixton as a positive place rather than a negative place. It was a good environment to be in, loads of people, nice sunny day. Everyone was enjoying themselves parents, children. From babies to elderly, all walks of life were there. It was a really fantastic experience, one that will stay with me for the rest of my life. 
it's really in its infancy. I don't think we've seen what Brixton Splash can be able to achieve in the future yet. Wow, well, for Brixton Splash 2008, we want a bigger splash, a better splash. So I really hope more businesses actually step up and help. I want to see other communities engage. There's an opportunity for the Latin community. We've got an increase in the Somalian community in the south of the borough and the Portuguese community. What we like to do is to do the Latin American carnival walking on the streets and each country dance their own music, their own way of life because they dance it with passion. I want to say more power to the splash. Where I say Brits and Splash in 10 years time is up with Edinburgh Festival. More splash, more splash and more splash. I want to see it as a major London event. If we can do what we did last year on a bigger scale, it will be like so much of an achievement. I think I could actually go and retire. <laughs> How is that?